Traditionally, the Indians that David Swell works with in Panama, the Nobe Bugle people, have been resistant to any form of education, seeing it as being an encroachment from the outside. But many of the parents have a great desire to have their children educated. They want their children to receive an education, knowing that the only opportunity that they're going to have to progress in life is to become educated. We have built many schools. We believe that the basis for the development of people is education, especially primary education. When we invest work and effort to bring these children out of ignorance, we bring them up out of poverty. This means that thousands and thousands of children today now attend school, thanks to the U.S. group that comes to help us, as well as the great team we have in Panama working, organizing the towns where we bring the education. There are kind of tough things going on. These kids are just forced into labor and uh, not getting an education. So they've got no hope or future. So he's bringing in a school and the fastest way to do that is for him to bring in a team who throws up a, a wooden structure school and then he uh, applies with the government to get teachers into that school. So the government will supply the teachers, he's provided the building, and then the government, once they see a pattern of kids coming to school, so there's the kids get uniforms also supplied by the government. If the kids stay in school, their family gets an allowance to keep their kids in school from the government, provided by the government. So there's this incentive that starts to happen once one has this partnership. It's an interesting phenomenon in Panama that there's a, an alliance, a working together between the church and the government in order to provide education. Through the ministry of David Swell, more than 4,000 children are receiving an education on a regular basis. These kids are learning Spanish from when they're young through school, which they need if they're ever going to go off the islands. They need to be able to speak Spanish to communicate, to get any kind of job or any kind of transportation. They need to know Spanish. So they can actually leave the islands and make a living for their family uh, doing something outside of the islands. Or they can learn a trade even by being educated. So then on, they can live on the island and grow rice, but then they need to sell that rice. So because they've been educated, they can learn learn how to go and take the rice to a processing plant and then go sell it on the mainland or lobsters. They're fishing lobsters. So they get lobsters, they can actually go and sell those. So the education is helping that. But I, I think the model of Juan is going far beyond that, right? Because he's working for Christ and, and building God's kingdom. So because we've come in and started with this wooden structure, a team has come in, then not only are these kids getting longer life, good health care, education, they're getting Christ's love in them and hopefully taking the message of Christ to others. And so God's kingdom is growing in phenomenal ways because it started with this little wooden school.